Hello there, Leos. Welcome to your mid-April. So, first of all, um, I'm getting a very similar message for you guys that I'm, I got for Aries. And uh, especially if you have, you know, your sun, moon, or rising in that sign, you might want to look at that sign and to see how the message resonates because it's very similar. It might just be a fire sign thing. Um, so, having said that, let me just say this. Um, I almost feel as if some of you, you have recently broken up with somebody and there's this sense of longing and yearning, okay? So um, I feel like they've moved on and there's this uh, overwhelming sense of yearning and longing from your end and I feel that you have to get yourself out there, reconnect with loved ones, reconnect with friends and, you know, do things so that you can get your mind off of this, okay? Because I do see some of you ruminating and um, I don't feel like it's healthy, okay? So that's just um, the first message. The second message that resembles uh, Aries is something about moderation and in small doses, okay? So first of all, um, I feel like this is very family-centric type of a situation. The first thing here is that they, they mention, you know, a lot of the times uh, we're supposed to be like the most easily irritated by our family members. But we're also very, very understanding as well when it comes to our family members. And I feel like, you know, straddling that those two things where you're easily irritated by them, they know how to push your buttons, you know how to push their buttons, versus being very understanding with family members. There's a fine line, and I feel like you, you, you're not really sure where you should go because you have this innate sense of family loyalty. You love your clan. You, you, you really value blood ties and so if a family member is wrong it's really important for us to set them on the right course of action right so that means speaking our truth and especially um, t trying to steer them in a gentle way trying to steer them in the right direction and so I feel like rather than conforming because they're family members we really need to speak up because um, I feel like it's a disservice if we're not able to speak up because we're afraid of propriety, we're afraid of censorship, we're afraid of, you know, stigma for whatever reason, because we're not speaking up to our family members. I feel like you're straddling a fine line and I feel that you need to decide on what is the uh, morally right and how to, how to approach that truth with a family member. And then for others of you, too, there's this sense of, like, um, wishing you had a different structure, family structure, wishing your family was a lot more open-minded, was a lot more worldly, was a lot more accepting, wishing your family was different. And so <clears throat> what they're saying with that is that you're at a point where you can create the family for that you want and long for. So that means trying to do things the right way, trying to re really be patient and, and teach, you know, teach people the right things to do and try to drill in that message over and over again. Because I feel like, you know, just um, it, a, a lot of the this weighs heavily on, you know, parenting styles, okay? So I feel like coaxing rather than pushing for a specific outcome coaxing somebody to do the right thing rather than forcing them or pushing them that's really important too and uh, I feel like you know there's a you're you're at a fine line here um, between doing things in a um, like moderating um, doing things in small doses doing things like taking small steps to steer them in the right direction to steer yourself in the right direction getting your feet wet learning to speak up for yourself learning to overcome uh, people who might be a little bit full uh, like bullish they might be you know they might have like bullyish tendencies or people that are not rational they have like emotional responses to things but they're not acting out of practicality out of rationality they just like jump off their first emotional impulse so I feel like you're surrounded by all these energies, people who are, you know, like uh, taking a moral high ground, they believe they're right all the time. And then you're dealing with people who are emotionally irrational, they believe what they want to believe because of their upbringing, because of the way, because of their emotional responses to something, rather than reason. So I feel like all around you, all of this, uh, this mess is swirling around you and you're just like, caught in the whirlwind of it and so it's really important for you to figure out where you stand 
what you really believe in, what you really identify with, what you consider to be your true value system, so that you can navigate this energy, so that you can set people in their place, and that you're not caught up in other people and the things that they believe, even though you know you might not believe them yourselves. And so having a very firm um, sense of you know, footing is going to be really important for you for the next two weeks. So you're not caught off guard. You're not being swindled. You're not being um, <clears throat> persuaded to do something that you don't want to do. You're not being coerced or even coaxed or manipulated into doing something that is not good for you. So really maintain that firm footing. And a lot of it has to do with, you know, a lot of the times we don't know where we're going until we really get to know ourselves, what our motives are, what our intentions are, and what's the best course of action for us. And I feel like you're not there yet, just yet. It doesn't mean that you're not going to get there. It just seems to me like this is the time, the next two weeks, is uh, good for you to take steps stock and figure out who am I who do I want to become and then adjust your actions accordingly because I feel like you're a little bit you know topsy-turvy and caught in the whirlwind of it okay there is definitely um, family you know obligations and that you feel like oh I have to take care of it but is it the right thing to do or is it like something that's coerced on you is it forced upon you because I feel like there's a sense of coercion here and then the other one is, you know, acting out on, on an emotional impulse that might not be good for you. So you really want to sit down and, you know, figure out um, your motives and figure out your intentions and figure out what you're hoping to achieve before you choose a specific course of action. Um, I do see energies of heavy water signs, so Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Uh, you're dealing with somebody who is very, very, um, um, they're like very enthusiastic. They're very passionate and so they can move you you know to do whatever they want and so be very careful not that they're bad but just you know make sure their goals are in alignment with yours otherwise don't budge and then others of you are dealing with fire signs who are really courageous you admire them a lot so Sagittarius Aries or Leo and you want to be like them and I feel like you're taking the first step to get yourself to your true calling so that you can really stand up for the things that you really believe in so I feel like there is a lot of uh, good energy coming through to steer you in the right direction, to make you feel very secure and firm in your footing. But you need to take the steps to get there. Okay, so the energy is there. Just grab onto it. Stabilize yourself. Okay, so Leos, I do wish you all the very best. I'll be back in the May reading. Okay, take care of yourself and enjoy the rest of your April. Bye-bye.